where it's not like a handle flush, it's a chain. Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke. Yokoso. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five things that I love about Japanese apartments. So, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's begin. Number one, fish grill. I think a fish grill is really useful. It's one of those things that I never really thought about having until I had one. Just because sometimes when you cook fish, it can get a little bit messy and fish has a really strong smell. So in the UK, whenever I cooked fish in my oven, if I cooked something else not long after, it would kind of absorb the flavor and smell of the fish, which is kind of strange. So it was really cool to see in Japan that there is a separate fish grill. And it also means you don't have to clean the entire oven when you make fish. You can just clean the fish grill part. I think it's also really useful as well because you don't have to just grill fish in there. You can grill anything in there. And yeah, I just think it's really, really clever. And it's one of those things where I didn't realize how much I needed one until I actually had one. Number two, sliding doors. This one's weird for me. So I, when I first moved into my first Japanese apartment, I kind of hated the sliding doors. I'm not gonna lie. I just felt that they were noisy and because I wasn't used to them, I was just kind of, I don't know, I just didn't like them that much until I learned why they exist. So basically in Japan, they use sliding doors so the apartment is bigger, it's a space saver. And as soon as I learned that, I loved sliding doors. I was just like, this is amazing. This makes so much sense. And it's one of those things that I feel like we should be doing in London. London is a super busy city, loads of people live there and some people are living in really small apartments because there's just no space. None of these apartments have sliding doors and I can't even imagine how much space they would save with sliding doors. It's genius. It's something that's so simple but so effective and I really thought about this apartment that I live in now and how it would feel if we didn't have sliding doors. We would definitely lose a lot of space. I don't think our bed would fit into our bedroom if we didn't have sliding doors. So I'm shocked really because it is just so simple and I just don't understand why more places aren't adopting this idea, particularly London. I know in London we have quite a few old houses and my house in London would look really strange with sliding doors. I don't think it would work, but definitely for new apartments that they're building, they should definitely consider changing the doors to sliding doors. Like I said, there are a few problems. I don't really like the noise it makes. It's really loud. And when my neighbors open and close their sliding doors, I can definitely hear it, but that's such a small price to pay compared to the amount of space you're saving. It's really, really clever. I love them. I'm a fan now. <laughs> Number three toilets. This is something that honestly it changed my life. So when you're in the UK, if you've ever been, our toilets are just basic. <laughs> I think that's the best way to describe them. And what's crazy is depending on where you are, the toilet might be even more basic. Okay, let me explain a little bit. So most toilets, you there's just nothing special about them. You just do your business, use tissue, and then flush the chain. Nothing special at all. But then there are some really old fashioned toilets that we have in the UK. There's one in this pub that I go to where it's not like a handle flush, it's a chain. You literally, it's like a chain hanging from the tank. It's quite high, you use the toilet and you pull down on it. And yeah, that's how you flush the toilet. And you need a little bit of strength. Like it's not easy. Like you really have to pull sometimes. And that's what our toilets are like. We don't have any built-in bidets or, you know, anything to like wash yourself. And to me, that is honestly quite crazy. I know that I believe in Italy, they have bidets and I've met a few Italian people in London and they just can't understand why we don't have them. And yeah, so in Japan, I love how high tech the toilets are here. I mean, they do everything really, don't they? And yeah, so when I go back to the UK, using the toilet is just 
I don't feel clean. I don't feel clean. I hope that they change this in the future. I know that Japanese style toilets are becoming very popular all over the world. A lot of celebrities now literally have Toto, the brand Toto, those toilets fitted into their houses. So literally the brand that is normal in Japan that most people own, celebrities in America are like buying them and spending lots of money to import them and have those fitted. So I do think we will see Japanese style toilets more in the West and honestly, I hope we do. I can't face the toilets in the UK anymore. Now I've experienced a better life in terms of toilets, I can't go back. <laughs> Number four, delivery box. So I don't currently have a delivery box at my current apartment. So I first discovered this in my first apartment in Japan and I just thought it was the best thing ever. It makes so much sense. If you're not home, the item goes in the delivery box, you know the password for it, you open it, you get it out, perfect. In the UK, I've never seen this anywhere, but I could be wrong. I live in a really, really old house, so we definitely don't have a delivery box, and also because it's a house, so it's slightly different. So what will happen is, if you are not home, gonna be two options, most likely. Either the delivery person, will put the item with your neighbor or just somewhere outside your house. Oh my gosh. Sometimes the delivery person will put your package inside the bin. Yeah, I'm serious. So if they put it in the bin on bin day, you're in trouble. You can say goodbye to your item. This happens so much. I had a situation where the delivery driver put my package underneath my doormat. This was a big package, so you could just see a box with a doormat on top of it. Like, that's just not safe. If they are really good delivery drivers, they'll leave it with your next door neighbour. Again, a delivery box in Japan is still better than that because I hate going to my neighbour and just, I feel like I'm bothering them, you know? Like, oh hey, sorry, do you have my package? Because they kind of get bothered twice. They get bothered one time because they have to take your package in and then they get bothered a second time for when you go over and retrieve it. Luckily, my neighbors in London are really, really nice, but I still feel guilty every time I have to disturb them. And then the final option is the delivery driver will just take it back to whatever delivery hub and then you have to go and physically collect it yourself. All of these problems could be avoided if we had a delivery box. So yeah, when I first discovered a delivery box in Japan, again, I was so surprised in the most positive way possible. Again, it's something that's so simple, I'm just like, why didn't we think of this? It's so convenient and it just feels like nobody in the UK thought to do this. Number five, autofill baths. Okay, so this is another one I don't currently have in my apartment, but I have seen it before and it makes so much sense, specifically for the way that bathrooms are designed in Japan. So let's start with the UK. Again, I live in a very old house. It's over a hundred years old. There's not going to be anything new or fancy in there, but essentially the bathroom is, rather the bath, is placed in the same room as our toilet and that is very common in the UK and it's not not a wet room. So in Japan your bathroom will usually be a wet room, meaning like the whole room kind of operates as a shower and then the bath is next to it. And this is why autofill baths make so much sense because you can't go into the wet room in your clothes. That would just be ridiculous. And then also you don't want to just get in there naked and stand there and just kind of watch your bath fill up. So autofill baths make so much sense because you can just press the button that is not in the bathroom, that is outside the bathroom, in your clothes, have the bath fill up and then only undress and enter the bathroom once the bath is full. It just makes so much sense. I think I've talked about it before on this channel. I just love Japanese bathrooms so much. The fact that it is standard to have a wet room here, it's so good. It really is. I love the fact that you can just use that whole room to shower in and then get in the bath and it's just all in one space. I think that's so, so smart. I feel like now that I know how much it makes sense and how badly I want one, I think next time I move, this will be something that needs to be included. <laughs> well, that is it for today's video, you guys. I would love to know your thoughts. Did you know that these things we don't have in the UK? Did any of it surprise you? What is your favorite thing about Japanese apartments? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.